Right, we're back. I'll just bind the pages into the book cover. So we've got three times the length that we need, three times the length of the book. Let me try and thread it. I think I need new glasses. There we go, that wasn't so bad. I'm going to through the wax. That makes it easier to go through the paper. Right, now we've got everything lined up here. I've got a sponge underneath. Just one of those stadium seats chopped up that I used for cake decorating a long time ago. Right, just get my pokey tool, my awl, and just see if I can. Oh, the green one's pretty sharper. Here it is. Yeah. Let's get a poke through on the spine there. And then, oh, about an inch down from the top of the page. Feel it on my finger. There we go. And then about an inch up. That's about right. Yeah. Now they call this a three hole pamphlet stitch. So we'll just go in from the middle and poke it through so it comes out there. Do a bit of flipping and flapping. Here's the hot hole. Oh, straight through. Last time I did this with those little booklets, I put the top of the pages too close to the top of the cover. There we go, straight through. Time we want to come up in the middle again. Easier without going through that first thread. Right. Yeah, thread that needle, take the needle off. Right, we've got one on each side of here. That's all nice and gold. The front. It's a little bit tighter, I think. Okay. Tighten a knot. hanging down if you want. When I've done this, it's a good idea to just okay, I've got should I see it? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight pages, which means thirty-two sides altogether, which is pretty good. Neat. 
didn't even think very well, did I? Okay, all right. For now, that will do. We'll see if it slides in. You can see that yellow rose through there. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that for now. And then I'll get my head sorted about what we're going to do next. See you later.